Yo, what's up, fam? It's time for another installment of Monkey's Mailbag. I got a shit ton of fucking mail today, folks. What, are we just gonna pretend that you didn't domestically abuse me in the last mail episode? Um, we'll just do it, fucking bitch. What are you talking about? You were drunk, and you hit me! You knocked me right off the couch! Is that supposed to be funny? You think domestic abuse is a joke? You sick fuck! One in three women in America gets domestically abused! Are you making jokes about it? What in the fuck? You disgusting fuck! Fuck you! All right, folks, you might notice we're in a different place than the last mail episode because I've moved into new digs. So real quick, before we go through all the fun mail, I'm going to give you a quick tour of Monkey Studios. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, here's my desk where all the magic happens. Usually I have my monitor and shit on there, but I took it off for the mail. Over here is the, I guess, entertainment area. Over here is all my little friends. We got Alexa and, and Growly and Snorlax and you know, all of them. We got my big old beautiful painting made by Don V. Drove all the way down to his house to pick that fucker up. I think he won the Monkey vs. Depression art contest with that one. Uh, here's that fucker junkie. And then here is the wall of fan art, which as you can see is, is kind of barren. It's all fan art that I got over a year ago at this point. So, if you want to see your art, framed up on my wall. All you gotta do is send it to me. And, uh, of course, the P.O. Box is in the description. So, yeah, let's go on to the mail, baby! Okay, guys, it's time to open some mail. This one's from Don Mummy, the meme team. Oh, it's, uh... The Adventures of Chris Fable, Time to Believe, what? A Lost Boy in a Magical Land. Oh my god, it's a Harry Potter ripoff. Wow. Oh no. Thanks for the movie, mean team. I can't wait to watch it. Oh, great. What's this? I, I, I'm guessing this was a heartfelt gift to me and not some bullshit from a company. Uh, the Henry... The Rifles of the Henry Repeating Arms Company. I guess now I can plan my school shooting more efficiently. I'll know what all the, the different rifles are. There you go. Great. Another fuck. Two great males in a row. This is going to be a good night. Fuck, we're going for the big box. Wait, maybe, maybe it's fragile. Maybe I... Fuck it! Uh-oh. Uh, looks like, uh, maybe a body pillow? Is it just a big pillow for me? Okay, it's a blank body pillow, so I'm guessing one of these other packages is going to be the cover for it. Otherwise, this is the most boring anime waifu pillow I've ever seen. Maybe this would be John Tron's waifu pillow, because he loves the white race so much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Johnny Boy? I know you're watching a whole... Okay, this feels like some prime pillow cover material, so let's go for it. I'm hoping, hoping and praying. Last episode, I think I wished for a, an Elliot Roger one, so I could bring my profile picture to life. So let's hope and pray. Oh, this might be Pico? Mostly no Pico? I'm not sure. Looks like a cartoon. Doesn't look like Elliot to me. Oh my god, it's Pico! Oh. We did it, folks! We're bringing the OG monkey sprite to life! Ready? Yep. Three, two, one! Yeah! Hey! Hey, look at me! It's monkey! Whoa! Brought to life! Okay, well, here's a letter, and they, they sent me $60. So let's see what they have to say. I've decided something Patreon. I disintermediated those K to, to deliver onto you 60 herewith as it allowed. Do you fucking speak English? 
It allows me to access the tier a literal god. I request you review discuss the video series How Digibrony MLP Saved the Entire Anime Community Parts 1 and 2 by YouTube content creator Watt the What. Twitter handle at Watt the What. I wonder who fucking sent this in then. Great, just what I want to do is make a video about Digibrony MLP. Additionally, with my access to the previous tier, Make Monkey a Muppet, I request you say this ma- This is just a big old advertisement for my Patreon, I guess. I enjoyed Shit Tubes Episode 6 by Kaiser Trigger. Now I don't know who this is from. You should check check out his YouTube and follow him on Twitter at Kaiser Trigger. Okay, maybe this one's from Kaiser Trigger then. And if I recall correctly, that guy does not speak English, so that makes that's why none of this makes any fucking sense. So I guess look forward in the future to me reviewing how Digibrony MLP saved the entire. Great. Well, well, I know what this money's going to. <laughs> I know what this money's going to. You know what I'm saying. Gonna need some of that if I'm gonna review fucking Digibrony shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, sheep? Are you sitting on Junkie, you fucking slut? <laughs> Been betrayed by both of you! Alright, this package, I think, is from the same place that I got the, the Boku no Pico body pillow. So fingers crossed that it's the Elliot Roger body pillow I've been waiting for! I fucking hope so! Oh no, it looks like a body pillow, but not anybody I want to be cuddling. Is it Naruto? <gasps> God damn you all! Oh, disgusting. It's Naruto covering his junk. I guess it's like Hokage Naruto. It's, uh, it's Boruto's dad. Oh, there's a backside where he's being all playful. I guess we gotta put this on a pillow too. <laughs> Damn, oh god! What the fuck? Oh my god! No, I can't show that shit! I need that $8 in, in ad revenue, damn it! I have achieved critical mass! I can feel my power level rising like never before! You can't beat the strength of a weeaboo with two husband waifu pillows! God damn it! Well, hey, what you got? I, I got a, a premium Boku no Pico waifu pillow. What about you? Oh, me? I've got Hokage Naruto squeezing his balls and dick. I'm a true anime connoisseur. Much like yourself, I can see. Wowee! Us anime fans sure aren't creepy weirdos at all! Now come check out my lowly collection! <laughs> fucking kill me. This is what I do for money now. Fucking kill me. It's not worth it. Take back the $60, I don't want it. <laughs> Speaking of Naruto, this guy uh, sent me an envelope full of Naruto trading cards, and then also he wrote, Monkey Jones is a lazy bones, probably like 168 times. For context, Cousin Monks, you said in your Akinator sequel that you find it highly annoying whenever anyone calls you lazy due to your high content output. Did I say that? I don't remember saying that. No, I don't have any kids. Is your character a nice person? No. Is your character lazy? No. No, not the horror genre. You are fake news. Sir. I'm sure you appreciate these forced memes and hopefully you'll despise this one even more than the last. This letter calls Monkey lazy 168 times. I called it. Go ahead and count it. I dare you. Not gonna count it. Not gonna count it. That's exactly 56 lines of lazy bones. I'm combining monkey means, baby. Also, I hope you play my autistic screeching voicemail for your social media argument podcast. Uh-oh. I wonder when he sent this letter. <laughs> Here's one from Anex, who addressed it as Middle of Nowhere, Arizona. I, and knowing Arizona, that's probably the actual name of the town. It's a book called The Law, The Classic Blueprint for a Free Society. just looks like a serious law book, so m more great anime book literature for me to consume. This kind of feels like it might be a body pillow. 
I'm running out of hope, folks. At this rate, I don't think I'll ever get an Elliot Rodger body pillow, but maybe, maybe this will be the one. Who knows? Um. Uh. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is going to get me in trouble. Looks like an extra large shirt that says, I masturbated after the Sandy Hook school shooting. Uh-oh. Oh my fucking god, it's the hot emoji from the emoji movie! Who made this fucking shirt? Was this a custom design? Or is this actually sold somewhere? It's the most fucked shirt I've ever owned, and I'm putting it on. You know, this shirt looks pretty good on me, but I happen to know somebody who could use some clothes. There you go, just like that, instant monetization back on the video. You did it, you saved it. I'm sure this is all monetizable, baby. Look how happy he is. You can tell, you can tell he jerked off to Sandy Hook. Look at his fucking face. You can see it in his eyes. See it in his eyes. Here's one from a guy named Cole. Okay, looks like it's a CD, first of all. It says, fuck you Santa Claus, nigga you ain't even real, by the little fuckers. Jesus, he has like the whole track listing in there. I guess I'll get a close up of that so I don't have to actually listen to this shit. Please bump with this mixtape, dog. You won't regret it. For anyone watching, you can download this mixtape for free at lilfuckass.bandcamp.com. There you go, now I don't have to listen to it. I don't gotta do nothing with it. I turned myself Yo. into a pickle! What are you just staring at me for? Pickle Rick, Pickle Rick, Pickle Rick, hey. Suck a dick, suck a dick. Oh, introduction to Islam. I've needed some educational material, so I'm glad you, you got this in my inbox. You've got Islam Q&A. You've got Jesus, a prophet of God. Muslims love Jesus. I don't know if they read the Quran, but I don't know if that's true. Is that true? So much, so much great literature I'm getting in the mail. Let's look at the Q&A. Let's see if they have any Q&A question about beating your wife. <laughs> How does Islam view women? In Islam, men and women are viewed as equals before God. I don't think that's true. In terms of both receiving equal reward and accountability for their actions. Okay, so women can be equally punished for fucking up. And for being rewarded upon death, but when you're on Earth, maybe not as many rewards for you. Allah, the creator of both genders, hear that? Both genders! Only two! Islam confirms. Nice try, Sarah Silverman, Amy Schumer, whoever. Those are the people spouting off all that gender shit, right? John Oliver? I don't know who. Somebody. Has assigned different roles and responsibilities for each. Taking into account their differences, women are given the utmost respect and honor. You know, respect and honor, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, there's another one of these fucking Henry books! God damn it! I'm not opening that! We're, we got one more left. This is the last package. I, I fucking hope there is. Okay, folks, this might be it. I know I've said this before, but it kind of feels like an Elliot Roger body pillow! Might be kind of small, but it's what it feels like. I gotta hope. I gotta hope beyond hope. Uh, I'm thinking that might be a no. Oh, uh, oh! No! 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 What? No! No! <laughs> no, I don't want it! It's a cursed image! I don't fucking want it! Oh. I don't want it. Oh, no. Well, folks, that's another episode of Mailbag and another massive disaster. I don't think I've ever been more disappointed in each and every one of you. So if you would like the opportunity to disappoint me just like all of these people did, go ahead and send me packages to my P.O. Box somewhere here on the screen. Go for it. And in a month or two, we'll do this again if I get packages. Uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully we could do a little bit better. Hope, hopefully, we could do a little. Hope, hopefully, 
We can do a little bit fucking better. Hey everybody, if you like my videos and want to help support the show, you can go to my Patreon page and throw in a buck or two. Or you can get me to say whatever you want at Fiverr.com. You can even have me put your message at the end of these videos. Speaking of which, hello YouTube, I'm Monkey Jones. I'm here to tell you to watch The Fan of Nothing. He puts lots of effort into making reviews, social commentary, how-to guides, things involving piss and fire. So go subscribe if you want to see a guy in his 20s slowly kill himself, and I have a link to his channel in the description.